Welcome to the Six Acre Farmstead. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I mark my hives uh, for my note taking purposes. I'll explain in another video how I keep track of my notes and stuff there, but we're going to talk about the hives and the hive bodies and the many nukes and the nukes uh, that I have going on here and what I utilize here on uh, the Six Acre Farmstead. Um, for me, I have run majority deep hive bodies for my hive, my hive softwares. I use two deeps. Um, and uh, this year I plan on catching a couple of swarms and building a couple of medium setups. So I got some medium hive bodies, uh, nucleus colony boxes, and these is something new that I'm doing this year is my mini mini nuke boxes there. So uh, a good steward is a good beekeeper is keeping notes and keeping track of your hives. What do you see? What do you do? Um, what's in the hive? The condition of the queen, the laying patterns, uh, any kind of mites or uh, pests, uh, wax conditions. Just anything that you feel that's credible that you should note. Um, you can also talk about uh, the of hive treatments and feeding stuff, <coughs> feeding supplements, the sugar water, the pollen patties, uh, whatever you do inside your hives. It's good to keep a good notes on what you've done in your bee yard. So uh, if something in the future happens and you were trying to determine what was the cause of problems, and you have your local bee inspector come out, you can refer to your notes and say what have you been seeing in your hives that's, uh, that might have led up to the concern that you have. Um, so, on all my high bodies and my boxes and everything else there, I use a, a numbering system there. For my deep high bodies, it's uh, numbers 1 through up to 20, um, there's 19 and 20s here. Nucleus, I do letter numerics A, B, C, D, E, F. Mini nukes, I got numbers on these also, but I can, I haven't figured exactly what I'm going to do, but I may do like uh, MN1, MN2, MN3, and so forth. So I have eight of these boxes that work and do a box new colors. Um, but the numbers work for me from tracking purposes there. <coughs> One thing I will say is all these, when I've set these things up, my mating nukes and um, or my, actually my, my deep high bodies, my, col my, my high bodies themselves there, the numbers when they're placed, you're going to place the numbers to the rear of the hive. Uh, that way, if you do your approach from the rear of the hive, you can look and see exactly what number it is and make your notes from there because from the front, you not really should be in the front of your hive anyways. That's where the, bee, the, the bees enter. Um, you're in their flight path there, but it's always a good steward to do everything from the rear. So make sure when you do your marking, put your markings on the rear of the hive. It could, I mean, your marks could be color. It could be a design. Um, whatever works for you. I like these uh, mailbox numbers here. Uh, many nukes, I do have them on the front of here, but when I stand, you know, I got colors and I can look at the front and see high box one or green one or, or purple two and uh, fuchsia three, pink four. I haven't figured out how I'm going to label that there, but we'll talk about the numbers. Um, these are metal mailbox numbers here. Uh, you get the stick, you probably get stickers, but the the metal ones I think are going to last up a lot longer for your for your money. Um, I think I paid fifty seven cents a piece per letter or per number. Um, and I utilize uh, number six half inch stainless steel screws. Um, I bought all these from Home Depot. You could probably buy from Lowe's also. I did go to my local Lowe's and these were cost a, uh, a few cents more per um, per tag. So, uh, <coughs> so I, I, I bought some here there as I need them there. Um, on the back, they have a little self-adhesive stick. They have a little a tab here, which I take you to the knife and cut the tab off because I'm not going to hang it from that tab. I'm going to hang it from the number there. What I do is I keep the sticker on. So basically, I take you to the knife and I peel the sticker off the back of it. I mean, the tab that's on top of it, leave the sticker to the back, and then take a half inch screw, stainless steel screw, and I'll screw it to the front. Um, these are my dead outs that I have this year high four, high 12. Um, Nukes over here, A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, just keeps, it helps me keep track. I have tab tabs in my notebook. Like I said, I'll talk in another video about how I keep notes and keep track of the hives. Um, but from there, so basically it's pretty simple. Uh, let me bring this box over here. High body, uh, these, I'm going to use medium high bodies for two, two of my hives this year, so we'll have hog 19, hog 20. So, start a screw. You don't have to pre drill these things. The pine's pretty soft. Uh, one thing to keep in mind here is when you're installing these uh, 
put your letters and stuff here, you want to blow the handholds. That way, if you ever put a lid over top of this, you're not covering up the hives, the, the numbers of the hives. So, from here. Put a little pressure on it. And the tab's in place. It's not going to stick there. I mean, if I ever want to take this box or reutilize it for something else, another hive setup or. Uh, there's needed I can just take the nut unscrew the screws and I'm not gonna have to worry about it being marked pretty much on there they're not going to come off uh, they're not going to fade it shouldn't it should have last a long time I think it's I think it's a worthwhile concept to, to utilize these uh, one more thing is um, I'll explain what my what nukes here this winter I did a double nuke setup. So basically I took a, I have two nukes, I have a custom build base, I'll have another video on that later uh, explain how I did that. And I had the two nukes set up here. <coughs> but I used, like say, this here had nuke A. Nuke A was the primary hive. The hive was here, the honey super is up top here. But I want to reutilize what I have on hand. So this here, I just took, I mean it's hive D, and I spun it up here. I'm looking for me, my purposes, I know I mean, it is Hive D and nukes I can build up for next year. For this is mainly Hive A. I can still reutilize this. All my tracking purposes, it's still Hive A. It's not Hive D. Hive D um, doesn't exist right now. So, with the two nukes there, Hive A here, Hive D, <coughs> um, and the other setup which right next to it, it's the same concept there. I can, the main, the primary is on the bottom uh, of the hive. So. For that, if you hopefully this uh, this tip works for you, and uh, if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.